In this video, I'm going to show you how to add choreographed performance code to the Supernova Poi. So you can choose a song that you want to dance to, choose a bunch of images that go with that song, and then sync the images up with the music so that you can create a whole multimedia performance. We're going to be using Adobe Premiere uh, as our layout program, but any movie making application with time code included should work just as well. Choose something that moves you. I like to choose songs that have a lot of visual imagery in the lyrics since that really pulls the audience in to the story I'm creating. I'm using Las Amigas del Fuego by Daryl St. Blaine. It's got lyrics about things like fire and bones over the ocean, which makes picking images pretty easy. Start by finding some images that go with your song. Google image search is your friend here. Uh, it's fun to type your lyrics in and see what Google comes up with. Remember that your images will need to end up just 36 pixels high, so simpler images are gonna work better. After a while, you'll get a feel for the kind of images that work really well on the poi. Import your images into Photoshop or another image editing program. So crop off any blank space at the top and the bottom and then resize them to be 36 pixels high or however many pixels you have on your Supernova Poi. Sometimes Photoshop does a better job of this if you resize in increments. Next, I'll usually use the unsharp mask filter to make the detail pop out a little more. Save your images with a descriptive name as a GIF with no transparency. The smaller you can get the file size, the better, since you'll be able to fit more images on the poi that way. One trick I use for performance mode is to add one image in that's 36 pixels high and all black. This gives me an off image. I use it at the beginning and the end of the performance so that the poi can turn on and off dramatically. Once you've got all your images ready, add a number to the beginning of each file name starting with double zero. I've made my all black starter image double zero, which will have the poi turned off when they're in ready mode. Don't skip any numbers. This is how you're gonna reference these images in the Arduino code later on. Next, we'll make sure that all your images are gonna fit on your teensy and look good on the poi. Save your images near the root of your drive with the kinetic POV Python script. Open the terminal window, navigate to your folder and run the Python script to convert the images to Arduino code. Copy the code that was created to your clipboard and open the Supernova Arduino project. Paste your code into the graphics.h tab. Be sure Teensy is selected from your boards menu and then upload the code to your POI. Go take the POI for a test spin and make sure all the images look good. Now is a great time to replace any images that just aren't working for you. Using Premiere will allow us to create a mock-up video of our images and add them to our song. We'll start the animation with the remote control at a predetermined point in the music. So that means our animation won't start right at the beginning of the song, otherwise you wouldn't know when to press the button. Create a new project in Premiere and import your song and all your numbered images.
Next, find the point in your song where you're planning to press the button to start the animation and clip off everything before that point. Move the audio track so that it starts at time code zero. Now, drag your images in and play with timing and sequencing until the images change right where you want them to and tell the story that you want to tell. Remember to keep it simple. It's tempting to change images every measure and go crazy with the patterns, but if you get too crazy, the structure of your performance will get lost. Repetition is your friend here. Now, jump from edit point to edit point and copy the time code and the image number into your Arduino project on the demo page. Remember that if you've changed any images, you'll need to go back and update your graphics.h file using the Python script. Once you're done, upload the code to your POI. Turn your POI on and press 8 on the remote control to enter ready mode. Start your song playing and at the opportune moment, press the 7 button on the remote control to start the performance. Oh, love. 